Greetings everyone, update 29.8 is live on PC with Star Days. Star Days is Warframe's Valentine event vendor. You can head to ticker in Fortuna to access the vendor and all the items available in there are available for debt bonds. You can get them from the Fortuna bounties if you don't have them. And for those players who have a boatload, you can just go into the shop, purchase what you want and go away. Moving on, we have the game's overall changes with update 29.8. The Kill More Infested Than Grenier Cambion Drift Bounty Objective will now count exactly double as a success for the bonus objective. This also fixes losing the bounty bonus if the Grenier get kills after you complete the objective during the objective's end voiceover. They've also improved the Vasca Kavat Starter Kit Market icon to better display what it contains and they've updated the Death March Nightwave Act title to Cold Steel. For the game's optimizations, DE have improved the Auto V-Sync's handling of dropped frames, with DE sharing the following. Auto V-Sync works by monitoring the current average frame rate to decide if you're currently running fast enough to hit your display's refresh rate. If your system can't keep up, we disengage V-Sync. The theory is, people generally prefer a bit of tearing to jerky frame steps. This is absolutely critical if you're being crushed below 30 FPS, because the next V-Sync step would lock you to 20 FPS. This approach works quite well in a lot of cases because on modern displays quite often the tearing isn't even visible, and if you're playing windowed or borderless the system will likely hide it completely. The problem is that you can poison that average with a really bad over budget frame and it will disengage VSync for a few seconds until the average settles back down again. You could see this easily if you went to your arsenal from the escape menu, waited for a second and then exited. There'd be a really bad hitch and then as the camera moved back to where you were standing in your ship, it would tear because VSync was disabled. The new code uses a simple filter on the average frame time calculation to ignore these bad frames. We're still going to optimize the causes of the dropped frames, but in the meantime, this should greatly diminish the ugliness they cause. Also, in optimizations, DE enabled systemic micro-optimizations for PC builds using SSE3 since the min spec has required it for a long time. They fixed a memory bloat that could occur when running DirectX 12. They eliminated a hitch when loading the world state window and made many, many optimizations to rendering on all platforms. With as for the game's overall fixes with update 29.8 DE, fixed an edge case in the Limbo Theorem quest that can leave you unable to progress, putting you into an inescapable state of limbo. They fixed becoming trapped on the I-10 screen when attempting to visit Maru via the I-10 screen. Cases of constantly failing area control bounties in the plains of Eidolon due to the required enemies being spawned on the other side of the plains. Certain cases where Yanaru's Void Shadow can become permanent. The Martyr Symbiosis Vulpa Phyla mod and its health restore never being removed and thus stacking perpetually, rendering you immortal, with the note that the logic behind Martyr Symbiosis is for the Vulpa Phyla to sacrifice itself to heal you after falling below X amount of health. Now they also fixed the Martyr Symbiosis mod description claiming incorrect Warframe health percentage. It now indicates 10% per rank instead of 5% per rank that it initially claimed. They fixed the Martyr Symbiosis mod health link effect, showing when stored health of the Vulpa Phyla is at the maximum of 40%. They fixed the Bone Widow's meat hook working against coil drives and dropships. The Grenier Manic never succeeding at tackling a player if the target had a melee weapon equipped for the mission, with a note that previously the Manic would just get stunned 100% of the time. They fixed the Moa Blitz Eximus playing humanoid animations when performing their blast ability. A fire rate curse from a heavy weapon Riven affecting your equipped primary bow. The Frost Fall ephemera effects persisting while on the orbiter even after being unequipped or having switched warframes. They fixed regular shield lancer's bodies looking like the tusk variants, dirt disappearing on the Graal Kubridon floof when viewed at specific angles in the diorama, the Nightwave diorama music not stopping when exiting a glassmaker diorama before it completes, they fixed a wrong Nightwave voiceover playing when viewing the episode 4 and 5 glassmaker dioramas, a missing scroll bar in the Nightwave wave tune in screen to view all the acts, cases where client's UI would display the host localized language, 
They fixed some quest icons in the codex, not displaying locked visual distortion. The death machine rifle missing its tracer effect. Fixes were made towards the terrorless spawn sound being too loud. The Grawl Thumper Floof having a placeholder name and description in the Nightwave cred offerings. They fixed a harmless script error when Venari respawns in the simulacrum. And lastly, they fixed a script error when casting Excalibur's slash dash. That was update 29.8 on PC. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.